Hey, hi everyone. A real quick tip. Say you've got a massive data file, as in you have loads and loads of variables. Here I've got 672 variables. And if you're going to do any analysis, it's going to be a heck of a job finding the variable you want from that list. Say I want to do descriptive stats and frequency of something. All right, look, say I want to find something in here, for example, gender. Look at it, where is it? I've just gone by something which represents gender. Okay, so I'm going to show you how, look at this, how do you sift through all this? It doesn't seem to be some kind of order. It's got R here, then it goes to M, then it goes to D, so it's not an alphabetical order. So you might get some data set um, from somewhere, um, which is like this, so you wouldn't have had chance to enter it in alphabetical order. All right, so here's how, what you can do. You click on the inbox, here, this box here, and for any kind of analysis, you have some kind of box with all the list of the variables, and you do a right click. When you do a right click, what you have currently is display variable names. What you can do, because the variable names might not be meaningful to you, those, you know, it's a short hat, it's a kind of, uh, short names, you might want to display the labels, what is in full. So you click display variable labels. What happens, watch what happens in the background. It now turns into the labels, which is more meaningful if you've forgotten what your kind of uh, the names, the, these names meant. Okay, what else can I do? I can also sort by alph alphabetical order now. So this makes things much easier to find. So I go like this. Okay, now let's look for gender, F, G. There you go, that's quick. So that made life much easier. So just do right click, what else can I do? You can sort by file order, by measurement level, that's nominal, ordinal, scale. But I, if you're gonna do this, I think what you'd want is either display variable names and or self sort alphabetically. Okay, and that's today's tip. Thanks for watching.